For calligraphy to be beautiful, letters need relationships, repeated forms, shapes, and widths. It's about how letters work by themselves and how they relate with each other. The basic calligraphy rule is that the space between letters is visually equal to the space inside the letters. Unfortunately, this is not a mathematical exercise. You can't just take a ruler and measure half an inch for every letter, but you can practice the forms and pay attention to these characteristics. The basic shape for the copperplate alphabet is the oval. It's a tapered ellipse that is wider in the middle and narrower at the end points. Once you get this oval form down, it will inform the width of your other letters as well. Contrast in copper plate is achieved by varying the amount of pressure on the nib. All upstrokes and cross strokes will be light pressure and thin, and all downstrokes will be heavier and thick. Copper plate is written at a 55 degree angle from the baseline. We have the guidelines prepared for us in the download, so in this class I won't go over how to draw them on your own. The size of copper plate is limited by the flexibility of the nib and it's usually written quite small. Our excite will be about a quarter of an inch, so the ascenders and descenders will be three eighths of an inch and that's how we get the 1.5 to 1 to 1.5 ratio. Take note of the vocabulary here as I'll be referencing the various lines as we go through the demonstrations.